Hip replacement uh, is basically uh, we're replacing the ball and socket joint. Really in the surgery we remove the ball which gives us room to work. Uh, we do some preparation of the socket where we insert a titanium shell um, and then inside of that is a, a plastic liner is snapped in and on the the thigh bone side, we, your thigh has got a hole in it. There's soft bone in there that you can put an implant in, and it uh, holds on to a ceramic ball that then rubs on the plastic. So on most hip replacements, you have a ceramic on plastic bearing, and both of those do a great job, you know, relieving pain and restoring people to their activity. I've been doing the direct anterior approach for some time now. The, the ability to allow someone to recover without uh, restrictions on motion is liberating and it allows them to move quicker along their recovery. It uses a special table uh, that helps us position the leg uh, to do the surgery easier. Uh, we do use that table. Uh, we also use intraoperative x-ray or fluoroscopy which allows us to uh, basically get the implants exactly where we want them which helps us provides for a longer lasting hip and uh, better uh, restoration of leg length and uh, the anatomy of the hip joint. At least in my own practice, uh, my anterior approach patients tend to recover faster than my posterior approach patients. They are certainly uh, a lot less fearful of uh, dislocation and that sort of thing. And so in my practice, it's really uh, been great because I think the patients have done very well. Um, I remember him walking into the room saying, your hips are in bad shape, which I obviously knew because of how much pain I was in. Um, and so he basically talked to me through what my options were. What's great about Dr. Hanna is he can't make the decision for you, but he gives you all the great information to help you make the decision. As soon as I had it done, I can remember the physical therapist coming down to see me. You know, I was only a couple of hours out of the operating room and she said, okay, well, let's get you up. And I kind of looked at her like, are you serious? And she said, no, let's get you up. And up I got and I used the crutches that I had used for the previous surgery and as soon as I took one step, I thought, I have a brand new hip. That was the immediate reaction I had. Hip replacement is, is most people would consider is an easier recovery than knee replacement. It's still a major operation, but I think we're getting really good at getting people over the operation. But, uh, most people are able to leave the, the hospital the same day. There's some patients that choose to uh, spend the night, which is fine. But basically, after surgery, we get you up and walk you. Uh, you have to do stairs before you go home if you have stairs, so you don't have to move your bedroom downstairs. You can go right upstairs. Uh, most people after hip replacement are on a walker for days to a week and then on a cane for a couple weeks. Most people do require some pain medication after hip replacement, but I have a lot more people telling me that they didn't really need a lot of pain medication after hip replacement, but it just really depends on the patient and the situation. Uh, some patients are able to go back to work within two to three weeks, depending on the type of work you do. If it's a lot of heavy lifting, manual labor, stuff like that, you may need uh, 12 weeks or three months. Uh, therapists do come out the house after hip replacement. They'll usually come out three times a week for the first uh, one to three weeks. I mean, some companies, uh, once they realize you're pretty mobile, will want you to go ahead and go to outpatient uh, physical therapy. After hip replacement surgery, you're not a, uh, you're not bedridden, you're not an invalid. Uh, you've just had a major operation, but you can walk, you can move around. Uh, we walk, uh, you do walk before you leave the uh, hospital or surgery center. Uh, we do ask that you do stairs if you have them at home, so you're pretty functional. Um, and I think that's kind of a surprise to some people how functional they are after the operation. 